The forge has gone quiet, the bellows blow no more. The forge has gone quiet, the smiths have gone home. Only fading embers remain, and my hearth grows cold. One kiss from you to rekindle it all. Back to Queen of Embers, episode forty, episode forty-six. We just finished episode forty-five, and we had just made inquiry with. Who? We were trying to meet with uh, the chef, Oliver Ramsey. Ramsey. That's right. Would you grab the lid of that and push it down, please? Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Chef. Michael, what have I told you about Yepper? <laughs> Sorry, office joke. Yippers. Oh, <laughs> yippers? I can oh, yippers. yippers. God, I love you. <laughs> so, a man dressed in a white apron, a white leather apron, rolled up sleeves, an open shirt with laces that would bring it closed, and loose pair of pantaloons and low shoes walks over with this messy, tussled blondish gray hair and this pockmarked face and he has a bit of a five five o'clock shadow. He looks very tired. Somebody inquire to me. Yeah. Yes, Master Ramsey. And it, yeah, that's me. I am uh, Banneker Steeples the second. My father recommended I come and see you when I was in the city. Oi! The the son of Steeples, eh? Yes, yes. He has talked nothing but good things about your restaurant, so I decided I must come and see you. And... Ain't that a pleasure? Well, welcome to the Abyss's Kitchen. This is my premier restaurant. Yes. Yeah, Kiltarian, eh? Very excited. Uh, your service has been impeccable so far, and I just wanted to meet the man behind this magnificent place. Well, thank you for your, your love for me. I'm glad you came. Try try me food. Hey, hey, you wait! He teeters, he walks away. That's undercooked! That's bullshit! He slaps the, the platter out of his hand. Oh, bottom say, go back and cook that again! The call it shepherd's pie, I call it shepherd's shit! <laughs> he walks back over. Right, forgive me there, eh? Ah, no worries. The food uh... comes out of here, it's gonna be impeccable. I train all these. Valets, all these squires of mine. A general must know his men, as it is said. Yeah, in it. It is, so. It's very, uh, very nice to meet you. My uh, fine fellows here also would, uh, you know, I'll, I'll kind of, I'll start to introduce. Sure. I heard you're going to be at the masquerade. You the cooking for that too? I'm the chef, he says. Well, well, sometimes, I mean, there's work and there's play. You know. No play in my kitchen. Oh. Not going to show you. Well, that's Isn't it. Good to know. We're going to be expect if, if we were to go to said ball, we'd be, we'd be, we'd be expecting food like this. Bad. I've been working on this menu all season. Perfecting you. Sorry. Perfecting it. Getting the braise just right. Getting the gravy to be just as is. Get the strawberries just so much flambéed. Yes. It'll be the finest meal you ever had. It's all about the gravy, isn't it? Always about the gravy. The pan au jus. Drained direct from the meat. Ah. Dunnish cattle from the north. Hivernian they are. I am very excited. Oh, Mouth is watering. Well, how about that? I'll have the best meal of my life twice in one week. <laughs> Merry Equinox, he says. Merry Equinox. Merry Equinox. Appreciate your time. To pleasure. Of course, of course. What the? Nine Father's Beard! He turns around as you can see the kitchen, like this large fire, and he quickly dashes off. <laughs> Uh, 
think it's cut off. Coming real close. You have to sit. The others wear the blue sack. They've got to peek on me. <clears throat> I must have missed, and I'm whispering out his but I must have missed what, what you saw. I wasn't paying attention. The artist. All right. Warhol. Remember the people say, rotten teeth, big wig, a blue sack. Oh. A fancy blue sack. I don't think these other two have anything to do with that. I think they're just local. local. I'm not sure. Attractions. I assume everyone's not trying to kill the Baron. Well, I'm assuming everybody is. I'm going the opposite direction here. but I'm, I'm fairly, fairly good at closing the box on these two. But that's, that's, that's up to you all. All right. We should all report our own thoughts to the boss, I think. Well, if you want to. Well, and of course, Elisa, she's the only one that probably actually knows what the hell's going on with this cloak and dagger nonsense. Well, you, you want to compare your notes, so to speak, on this one? Yeah, what are your thoughts? Looks well, like a low born man has made good for himself. Seems to me that's the way. He, uh, pretty, uh, preoccupied with his kitchen. Pretty, uh, up on what's coming in, what's going out. He's <clears> going to have his hands full the whole time, as far as I can see. My thoughts exactly. The man, the, the man is making his his livelihood. He's a working man. Yeah, this is his livelihood. He's not going to he's not going to mess with that. Mm-hmm. Now, that doesn't mean somebody else won't mess with his livelihood. He'll try to do something, but three restaurants in an area. It's a lot of establishment. It's a lot of time and effort. It's not ours. It's, what, what, what would he have to gain if he's got three restaurants and he's, uh, you know, trying to up his standing and everything? And you know, what, seems like a, if he was trying to, you know, assassinate the, the Baron, is off character, as far as I can tell. Agreed. Yeah. All right. Well, let's enjoy this meal. Hopefully, I can put it onto my father's credit, and we can move on. <laughs> Well, if you're going to do that... Well, you know. let's make sure that's possible now. Yeah. Okay. Let's just have the one bottle until I know. <laughs> well, I was going to say, around where I come from, the uh, winter solstice, we always have the, the strongest tot of what they got. Ward off the poison cradle for the winter. Winter. What do you say? The we strongest... Ha- what, you, what? The strongest tot of what you got. It's strong spirit. You gotta have at least one on the one. on the winter solstice. Just one, just one. Every time I go anywhere with you, it's always drink spirits with me until you can't see. I don't even know if it's high noon yet. It's not. <laughs> Every time I'm around this we're, man, we're, we're celebrating. I, You're the one that bought the fancy wine, okay? A touch of the spirits. <laughs> no the servant says. Yes, yes. We you know Twice. we need something to settle our tummies after all this fine food. A spot of cafe. He says, the strongest tot, three tots are the strongest tots you got. No spirits or cafe? I'll take we'll, a cafe. Well, well, spirits, of course. I think I will go with the cafe also. You're disrespecting. I'm not disrespecting more. It's not even noon. Well, well I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I, I'm, I'm going by the rules of y'all, y'all's religion. But hey, <clears throat> you can set it aside if you want. Different folks, different strokes, as they say. And I like to say, you know, it's uh, at all levels. And then, you know, I already know this is not going to sit well. But the, God, the gods, the gods don't need to worry about my level. The food will come out. It will be positively delightful. What happens if you have a sour stomach? Um. Yeah. So if it's hard on your stomach, you cannot recover to hindered for twenty four hours. Mm-hmm. Um. That's what I wrote down in the notes, so I'm pretty sure there's more flavor text to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Alright. Yeah, it's not a new one, it's an old one. Who drank coffee? Yeah. Is it coffee? Coffee. Coffee. Oh. A-A-F-F-E. Oh, I didn't know Cafe. that. Coffee. I thought it was like, like a cafe, like an after coffee drink. Here's what cafe is. Originating from the east, dilettantes speak of a strange brew made with the powder of roasted beans resembling snuff tobacco, water, milk, and sugar, called cafe. 
or coffee by pedestrian city folk. This stimulant can suppress hunger and repeatedly wake the dead with its hot, warm, and delicious smell. Oh, I'm so... Cafe cafes are found in large cities. In small towns where philosophers, artists, and pseudo-intellectuals gather to wax poetic about different blends. Café is also the chosen drink of military leaders in the field. Despite the crowing of priests about this devilish drink in the East, Café is a luxury that most can afford to drink. So, if that you... most can afford to drink. Awesome. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, if you, you all drink uh, essentially three, or three good solid cups of Café... So not only do you recover from imperiled to un- you recover from to unhindered if you're already imperiled, uh, you also ignore the negative effects of sleep deprivation, and you ignore the effects of starvation. But you can't fall asleep for the next six hours. In your case, because you have a sour stomach, you recover nothing. You're just like wide awake. Yeah. Ah! yeah after you take Sorry. a dose of laudanum, a deliriant, or consuming a substance the GM sees as being hard on your stomach, you cannot recover to unhindered or on the peril condition track. Only to imperil for the next 24 hours. That's right. Those who drink cafe gain three corruption. Yeah. Okay. I did. Because it's a drug. Because it is a drug and it is addicting. And it's not just cafe as we believe it to be. Oh, it I is know. infused I with me. opium. My, my coffee is. <laughs> cafe. Sure. I love it. <laughs> So the end of the day comes about two o'clock for you all as you are served a, a, a literal uh, several servings of food and you are bellies are full and you're not feeling good at all. Your yes. stomach is he's rubbing his head. He looks like he's sweating. He's been dab, dabbing his forehead with his kerchief. <laughs> like God, the things I do for the different <laughs> the the serpent will come up. And who shall I give the check to? My father have an account here. Your father has an account, he says. Yes. Your father, the high minister, has an account. Well, Master Stevens. If I cannot add it to his account, then yes, me then. I'm sorry, I cannot add it to the high minister's account. Then the check would come to me then, sir, oh. as I say. Yes, yes, of course. Of course. So what does the cost for making here like the lords do? Like twenty something gold. What? Make it rain like Milors do. Fifteen crowns. All right, you boys are gonna have to pitch in after this. <laughs> uh, I'll give my third. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Was well, everybody's giving their third? Then that's awesome. And I'll give you five crowns. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then he says he takes the fifteen crowns. Let's get a turkey leg. Does that mean you tip? <laughs> Have you all, has, was your dinner satisfactory? Was your gratuity included? I mean... <laughs> Did I do everything I could to make you comfortable? Dan, just tell me, what's the percentage? What are we going to give? I mean, what is the standard percentage? Uh, well, uh, 5%. Okay, yeah. then I'll give him the two shillings that would yeah. be the 5%, right? That's actually over, right? Sure. That's my exact. math, right? That's okay, exact. that's exact. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Please, have a good day. You leave Hell's Kitchen back out into the city, full of stomach, your head swimming with uh, oh! wine, and uh, I will bring us now to... I'm going to need a whole day to digest this. i will bring us back to the lower city. The bustling port city. Well, oh. Sorry. We cannot put her on my father's tab. That's all right. We'll just consider it an IOU. Or UOS, or it's just a part of the thing. It's fine. I owe you, uh... You owe me, uh... We'll just call ourselves even, then, huh? You owe, my f- you owe me my fealty to my king back, but... Uh, so we're we'll even. Go with even. All right. I'll take it. Back. I'll pat him on the back. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, sorry. It was supposed to be an adjustment. No, I understand. It's just... You know what you lowborns do. You pat each other. No, yeah. So it brings us back down to the lower city as, to uh, yeah, yeah. as uh, Terwin and um, <clears throat> Elisa conclude their conversation 
with uh, Tobias. Er, sorry, Tobias, what am I thinking? But um, yeah, but Tobias Stroh. It isn't too long until Domina Satin, the buxom redhead, a very pleasant and affectionate woman. Oh, goodness. Lady Marius, she says as she catches you somewhere outside of the, the warehouses. Oh, Lady Satine. It's a joy to see you again. And you as well. My father said that he had uh, visited with you today. It was about midday now. Uh, might I introduce you to my companion, Terwin? Hello. Oh, Master Terwin. I, uh... it, is, it is a pleasure to meet you. She takes your hand and she will shake it vigorously. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Um, she says that you two got along swimmingly yesterday. Oh, indeed, the lady Marius is. Uh, well, she is. She is a, a, a font of knowledge and a good, pleasant conversationalist. I've never met any better. Could say the same of you, Lisa. You are. You are too kind. Perhaps uh, we should. Uh, Commence with the dress shopping. She I would love nothing more. Uh, <laughs> you think we could stop and grab a bite to eat, get a bit peckish? I haven't had much all day. Oh, I shall have my servants bring us something. Oh. Do not worry. You're quite lovely. Oh. Right on. You see that she has a throng of followers behind her. Young and old, kind of staring at her adoringly and they will bring something for you to eat as she will take you into one of the warehouses and into a back room. It doesn't appear to be a shop by any means. It looks like basically a warehouse of sort. And in the back, upon these iron racks, are all manner of dresses. It is the winter solstice. You know what that means, my lady. I must admit that I don't know the customs here, so... Oh, well, of course. It is a merry solstice, of course. The color that would be appropriate for this... This uh, masquerade would be blue. I think blue would look absolutely stunning on you. What do you say? So everyone would be in blue then. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that one looks. Milady, like it might be in pretty. what season were you born? She says. <laughs> oh. uh, the spring. Of course blue is your color. I, too, was born in spring. Oh, it seems we have such in common. Uh, uh, me, too. Uh. <laughs> yes, Terwin was born in the spring. It, it seems the three of us have quite a bit in common. Well, is this not just kismet, as they say in the South? Of course. Yes. <laughs> uh, fortunate circumstances have brought us together. Uh, indeed. Master Terwin. Have you made inquiry for, your, or have you already made arrangements for your manner of dress at the party? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've got, uh, let me see what, um, you know, I was focused on the neck up. I haven't really gotten anything for the neck down yet, so I think, uh, <coughs> it, I mean, I obviously can't wear a dress, but, uh, mm. well, I could, but. I mean, she begins pulling these scarves on these nearby mannequins. Yes. You can see there's a number of mannequins that cast long shadows inside this warehouse. Kind of frightening, actually, if you see them in the wrong light. This blue scarf, she wraps it around your, your, your face. Uh, just so, she ties it into your right knot. There. Now tuck it into your shirt. And then, uh, yes, I think these gloves will do. She hands you a pair of blue gloves. Oh, yeah. Delightful. Uh, Please. So beautiful. I, I I can't believe it. Master Forrester, would you do me the honor of accepting this as a gift for the party, knowing that you are in attendance? Oh, you must. <laughs> you simply must. Must I? You must. Um. One could not look a gift horse in the mouth in this way. Well, no, it's, I mean, it's going to be the look I'm going for, right? I mean, uh, this... Uh, I the, think this fits you well. The powdered wig, the cane, the mask. I do believe that this was well with her. Yes. Is he wearing all blue, basically? No. Oh, okay. scarves in the you would be... <clears throat> a unique look 
Mullen will help you stand out among the others, despite the fact you have a mask on your face. I think it would be very handsome, she says. I mean, if Domina says... <gasps> Lady Satine says so. What? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'll need to talk with you because I don't think I can be wearing this and what else I've got and talking like I do. What, what nonsense! That's puppy talk, she says. You, this blue really brings out the color in your eyes. Oh, no, no! Your aura, you were born in spring and I can see you are a tempestuous one. Blue is perfect for your personality. It will... Of course it is. No, I don't know. It, have... que- it will quell <laughs> the tremors in your mind. Really? Mm. Yes. Colors are very powerful. And then I think of it, I... It is good for your aura and spirit. Oh, I'm feeling a bit relaxed now. Of course. Um, Lady Satine knows best, yes. Yeah, but, um... You see, um, what I'm saying is... Uh, mm-hmm. Can't be sounding like I do. Mm-hmm. But why I, not? Well, I don't know of any people of the upper crust to be talking like me. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I should suspect that you will find that people who are even born high will speak as if they are born low at this party. It is the intention of wearing the mask to change who you are. So I would sound like I was doing a really good job, eh? I suppose. Yeah, roll it. So. <laughs> Practicing. Sorry. Come on. Yeah, no. Good job. <laughs> no, I was, you know, thinking like if we was going to be with the oily toy types, I mean, you. Oh, no. You wear no. a mask in one hand and you're, <laughs> you know. I mean, you can do that yeah. if you feel the need, but I think you'll fit in just. I wouldn't do that. Don't do it. That seems obvious. Too on the nose. Okay. Well, I mean, you just talk like I do. Yeah. I don't see why not. She smiles. Be who you are. Embrace it. Be oh. Satine once again. You speak wisdom. If I was embracing who I was, I, I wouldn't be wearing a wig and a mask and uh, these gloves and a, this jack scarf. Um, but Embrace who you were, are in a better set of clothing. Oh, I mean, I guess it's a like a fish out of water, but a bit. Or the blue hill. Or a duck in a field. Or, uh, animal in place, yes. We'll get with that. The lady, mm. as for your dress. Uh, well, uh, the core, yes. I had thought the blue at first, but perhaps you are more of a. A forest green. A green, you say? Yes. A forest green. Once again, I, I leave myself in your capable hands. Of course! She claps her hands together. But they will carry on. And you will try in all manner of different dresses until you are given a elegant green ball gown. Okay. And you are given fancy blue gloves and a fancy blue scarf. A pale blue, like a robin's egg. <clears throat> but you say that uh, due to the solstice, you, you believe everyone would be mostly wearing blue at this. Oh, those born in the in the spring, who was born in the seventh layer of the zo- in the second layer, sorry, the third layer of the zodiac. You strike me as a March child. No, I've been on many marches, yes. And you were born in May. You would be correct. Oh, no, I was born in April. Full screen it is. I was born in April. Oh, blue is still fitting. Yeah. It does rain a lot. So tell me, she says, you've been invited to a a party. She's talking to you, Forrester. What brings you to Carol Tyrion? Oh, come with, uh, with, uh, Elisa. She asked me to come along. <clears throat> well, 
The man such as yourself, who is uh, clearly a strong, silent type. Soldier. Mm-hmm. I mean... How much soldiering to be had here in Kilaterian? Yeah. Is well, there? I mean, what's a soldier to do when there's no wars? You see, your grandfather and her father spent a lot of time together. And so, you know, family, friendships, and whatnot, it passes down the line. Huh. My understanding is that when soldiers have no war to soldier against, the, um, will turn to worse things. Oh, sellsword type work, huh? Well, if there's no sellswording to do, they will try to stir up their own trouble. She says politely. No, I don't try and stir up trouble. But sometimes people try and stir up trouble with me. They, <laughs> they see the, the eye patch. And they know the namesake of a forester. Well, or perhaps that they see the sword at your side. Yeah, I understand. I know. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's there. It's been in the family for years. I'm not saying if you dress like that that you deserve it, but wearing a sword at your side certainly um... invites trouble. Well, it does. It lets people know your measure. Mm -hmm. She says. Yeah. She looks you up and down. Yeah. I mean, somebody got the, the best of me once. Yes. She takes a couple steps forward. And what is your measure, Master Forrester? <laughs> she places her hand up on the hilt of your sword. Well, you know, Forrester's trees, logs. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it there's runs a, in the family. There's a bit of tete-a-tete, -tete, if you will, between yeah. the two of them. <laughs> you can feel your blood quicken. Without yep. a doubt, she's a, a beautiful and a, a, a very charismatic woman who speaks very plainly and seems to appeal to your sensibilities. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> your base of sensibilities. <laughs> but nothing more than that. <laughs> The the, 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 the the quickening in your heart and the butterflies in your stomach will will leave once uh, you all kind of go your separate ways. Yes, when you go your own way. So uh, I would like for you to put on your character sheet uh, under under uh, traits favored and under favored put Dominus Satine. When you were a favor by Dominus Satine, you may add an assist die to fellowship based skill test when in her company. Nice. Nice. I sure as hell need it. <laughs> She's just gonna grab her and drag her over when we're having conversations. <laughs> you must be engaged with her. Congratulations. Alright, I guess. Uh, I guess Force her name will go on. Yeah. Back out into the street you go, and it's almost sundown at this point as you all kind of take in bits and parts and you've kind of been about your business and you will actually collect down below in the shipyards uh, sometime toward nightfall. Oh, what a day. Terwin uh, and uh, Elisa appear back at the ship and Terwin walks with a slight spring in his step. And Elisa has pickles. The jar of them. <laughs> oh, pickles. <laughs> oh, no, not those. Oh, no, no, please. What, what you mean? Oh, man, hey, so stuffed. Hungry. <clears throat> no. Oh, oh I've been having digestion this entire night. Uh, <clears throat> no, that'll help. Pickles help. Uh, I don't know no, that. they're good. They're good uh, for if you feel them queasy. Uh, Got lots of water in it. It's also spicy. Or water has water in it. Perhaps, yeah. perhaps you can have them for breakfast. Oh. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Harper, please excuse yourself. I've been trying. <laughs> so, uh, apparently we'll you have dress well. delivered to the. Oh yeah, and. <laughs> uh, or you 
wearing the gloves in this game? No, I'm not wearing them still, but like... Uh, that would be great. Yeah, Taryn, no, because then he'd have to walk through town in them, and that gives away what he's wearing. Yeah. Taryn pulls out these ridiculously blue gloves and um, uh, scarf. Now, apparently I'll be wearing these. Apparently everyone will be wearing blue. Or at least it's going to be a common color. Of a sort. Now, here's the thing. There's a possibility, even though I'd hate for it to be so, but I think the woman of her caliber, she might be trying to pull one over on me. I don't know. Yeah, she might. It could go either way. It's possible. Yeah. But, I haven't uh, ruled her out. But you see, she chose blue for me and not for you. She did, yes. Yeah. And it could be com- it could be innocent. I mean she's she's got a low born father. She herself who who's been up jumped, but she herself comes from that line. And she's trying to ally herself with people of a higher caliber. Well, that's all of anybody. Yeah, yeah. Did, so did you say her her dad, oh, I'm did, did you say her daddy had some ties in old Lord? If she was gonna be one of the ones that was Doing the dirty deed, then you know, spend some time in Old Lord, you know, oh. pick up some bad influences. Right. So, or, I believe I believe or, I sh- or owe the wrong people. I believe I should wear these because I said I would. But I also could possibly be getting set up. It, it's it's a it's a stretch. It's, it's, but it's, pain, it's paying the target on your back. Why why would you do that? She also has a large quantity of sycophants that will do anything for well, her. Yeah, and it is why I want that target. The reason I want this target is in case all this is being done in concert, and they think I'm part of that concert, and they try and come up and talk to me about whatever plan they have going on. So that's why I'm happily wearing blue. Oh. So we can rule you out, though, boss, right? Yeah, I mean, here's what I'm wearing as I lay it all out. Yeah. I'm wearing this fucking you're, you're, not, you're not going to be the one that's you're doing not gonna You're be not the doing one. the one to kill him. Like, you didn't get a message from, from you know, the, the table and they're telling you to do something different. Yet. No, not yet. Oh, okay. Well, then we're ruling the boss out. I think we can rule all three of the artists, or two of the artists out, at least. Your yeah. thoughts, Warren, Harper, I... I I, I don't think the bard has anything besides bluster and fame to look forward. That he cares about one thing is fame. Uh, could, do you, Do you mind if I ask you to hold that part? No, hey, you um, you hold and yeah. No, no, I want I want to hear more of it. I just would like to get out what I've noticed, and then we can move it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, Domina Satine. She either really wants to get in good of people and seize an opportunity or there may be something on added there. Her father is up jumped and has found some fortune but is continuing to try and secure an higher place. So here he is now he wants everyone to know he's a pickle man. I mean come on. It does That's... seem he's trying to switch to maybe a more legitimate track of business. Yeah. Um but I couldn't get much off of our meeting from him. I know that uh, he he ran around with your father back well, in the day. He also mm-hmm. said something about the leader of the saltpeter would most likely well, yeah. be there. And it would make sense, all things considered, if possibly the leader of the saltpeter might want uh, Baroness not to see through her plans. Yeah. More than anyone. Right. That is that is critical information. So it seems to me that the leader, whoever the leader of the Salt Peter is, is probably the one behind this particular attempt. So you're saying, okay, I get that. But um, so this man, he knows your father. He does. And he knows you, and he knows you work for the Dufresne. He does. Which means his daughter probably knows you work for the Dufresne. Most definitely. Does, yes. So, 
do you think she's really setting you up, or she was, you may think maybe she's trying to give you a clue? It, it's possible that she could be given a clue too, and that's why I'm coming to all of us with what what I've got because I don't know how to I don't know how to to take it because she seemed to fancy me a bit, and so I don't want to be caught up in you know oh pretty lady she she. Well, I was something special, you know? So, uh, I'll keep your feet grounded on that particular yeah. prospect, but here comes the truth of the matter. When she walked, she was wearing a blue dress when we first saw her. We've seen multiple people now walking in blue. It's very possible she's just trying to keep up with trends. And, honestly, our information from the barrister may not be that much useful if this is a common color. Well, maybe she just wants somebody to be on her own. Just to have someone on her arm. That matches. It's yeah. possible. Okay. Or it could be she's the killer. Could be. Yeah. Could. What are we here for? We're here to protect the Baron, right? Mm-hmm. What I think we should do is to make sure we do everything we can to keep her away from the party. Dominant. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If she's a risk, we can rule her out if she's not there. All of these people are a risk. Yeah. There and you it go. would take one of us away from the party to keep her away from the party at minimum. So you're trying to would say it? she's a man-eater? Would it? No, wait, wait, okay, so we're still on the subject of the Satine. What I'm story. saying, what what I'm trying to get at is you do something to keep her from the party. You put something in her food, you make her sick or something like that so she can't make it. She would go in her mouth for Even would, if she was completely yes. indisposed, vomiting I mean, every, yes, every this, hour. This family is putting everything into being at this party. What if you ruin her dress? She would find another. Her yeah. father is a merchant. I mean, she, by that logic, if we just ruins everyone's day, I guess that'd be a look, way to get I'm not it trying. Out. I'm not trying to give, it, give her a hard time. I'm just trying to run through ideas here. Because, yeah. you know, you two seem like you're going to be attached to her on the whole party. And, no, you know, I don't know. Just... Just a thought. Well, so, if we entertain your idea of, of keeping her back, of making her sick, of, of, of doing something that in some way inconveniences her to the point that she can't go to the party, I, it's a possibility, but I'll be honest, I, I don't see Domina as the threat on this particular one. The only thing and if I... she's not, then we've just taken a girl who could possibly be opening up her entire horizons and made her sick instead of possibly letting her do so. The only way she's not going to be at this party is if we do something drastic. And I'm not willing to do something drastic until I know it's, it needs to be done. I mean, we're talking breaking knees. And even then, she'd be in a chair. And that's... I mean, I, I see where you're coming from. But unless it's something that isn't... Are we here to play silly parlor games with all these nobles? Are we here to make sure the, 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 the Baron makes it out alive? Right. I've got I think we need to be... I think we need to think long and hard about what we are willing to do to save his life. So we... Have we ever heard of a log shuffle? No. It's not. Why don't we not tell really. everybody... This Baron is dressed as X. And one of those people is uh, us. Oh, we heard that the Baron is dressed as this. He has this mask on. I can't believe it. I think I've discovered who the Baron is tonight. And make it one of us. That way if they shoot that person, it's one of us. Hopefully that's you. I'm just me. being invited to get killed. You wouldn't see it coming. Yeah. Well, that's, no, that's the point. If we're truly here to save this person, and our job is to save him, then there you go. There is your answer. And someone's willing to get poisoned or stabbed in the back to do that? Yes. It is your job. To get killed. Okay. Sammy, you are not part of the Dufresne. This discussion's got nothing to do with you. If you truly want to ferment this asinine thing that we are doing, then... That is the way to do it. Well, cover all your bases, spread the lie, be. The saddest part is you might not be wrong. 
I know I'm not wrong. I have been to these things. Well, there are. It's the it's half the trick is to figure out who is in the mass. I mean, your, your who ideas is this sound one, but uh, how are we going to get the Baron to agree to such a thing? We don't even need to. We say this is who it is. And we spread the rumor. We have your friends. We, you've made all these connections. Yeah. Use those connections. Well, there's six. I think I figured out the Baron. I think I figured out the Baron. Just tell all these folks. Well, we see if that's it will spread like what is that wildfire? Yes, that concoction, the witch witch fire. fire. Oh, witch fire, yeah, that one. Yes, well, there's 13 people that we suspect that's what we have on our list of people that are potentials that we had to look into. Of those 13, you've only ruled out two, and there's only six of us at most that could possibly do anything. I obviously can't pretend to be the Baron. No, no can't to all of you, but I don't think that would work. I don't think you could. Do we even know about his height? His uh, build? That's easy enough to find out. It's all easy to figure out. I know, but whoever matches that is the Baron. The rest spread the lie. Good <laughs> says. You hear from behind you as the barrister Rosalia joins you on the battle line. <sighs> You will forgive my tardiness, uh, lady. I have been in preparation all day. That's what it be, you know? How do those prepara- preparations go? Oh. Any new information? No new information, mostly preparation for the competition that is to happen. I think I have told you I must implore the Baron, the Lord Clayton R.K., and make the impression upon him that time is of essence and to have his signature upon the document to ensure that uh, his supporters are sealed so if you're going to be doing that you know how to find him well everyone will know how to find the Lord Clayton R.K. according to the itinerary she reaches into her to her robes and pulls it out so everyone knows what he's going to be wearing well, she sits it down. Here is what is to happen. At six o'clock, the guests are set to arrive. A valet will announce each guest by name before they place their masks upon their face. Then the masquerade begins. So people get to see the face before the mask goes on? Indeed. There will be many, many guests. Ah. However, once the clock strikes seven, the Baron will remove will make his toast, removing his mask. We can still do this. The Lord Trouble. Forget his mask. I should suspect that the, and I have here on the itinerary, the party will conclude um, at uh, 10 o'clock. So, when when is he to sign this agreement that you have? When he reveals himself after 7 p. after the clock strikes 7. So between 7 and 10, he should have a signature. Indeed. Okay, how about Linda? Finding time to meet with the Baron, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, as I have been explained to me by his quartermaster, Kinson and Algiers, will be difficult to fit in this time, but uh, I figure I shall make my impression upon him perhaps after seven. What would so. you make of Mr. Algiers? We didn't get a chance to speak to him. Master Algiers, a man who is uh, unwavering in his duty to ensuring that this party is a success. All servants and maids answer to him. He is classically trained and incredibly efficient. He will know everybody at the party by name. He has also made inquiry as to your names and I have passed them along. How long has he been working with the uh, Mariner? Oh, 
he has served the RK since the end of the war. So I would say eight winters, give or take. Oh, my apologies. Merry solstice. Merry solstice to you. Merry solstice. Cool. So, uh, so what we need to do after he removes his mask, and we were still working on what we do before, and and it's a possibility what you're suggesting. But after he re- reveals himself, that's when all of us are going to try and run uh, interruptions, interference. Uh, that way, you can get to him and talk to him, and we can also keep potential people who wish him to end him on away from him. Well, perhaps we should go through the itinerary one more time before you lay your plans. All right. We are expected to arrive. You all are expected to arrive around four o'clock. Four? Yes. All right. The band shall arrive and start to set up at 5.30. Guests will arrive at six. Kinnison will announce each of the guests before they place their masks on. Between the hours of six and seven, all shall be masked for an hour. But remember, the masks can be swapped. Mm -hmm. So, were to be there early before even the band sets up? Yes, that's what we had asked. You will be there at four o'clock, as the earliest I can be arranged. Right. So, you want an extra time at the facility. That's right. That way we could scope things out. Maybe talk with some of the, st- <coughs> the staff that are setting up. Yeah. Did, did you... Your... Your clue of blue. You know, it was such a fashionable color here. Yes. Did your contact tell you that, that color is apparently what everyone wears? For My contact has told me all that I have told you. Yeah. Well, As we were told it was a very hard color to... A t- to get, and now half the court is going to be there. Admittedly, I do not know the ways nor all of the etiquette of the upper courts. I was not born into such class. My studies were more so on law. Hmm. Things that are less frivolous, she says. <laughs> well, I'll be wearing it as well. So, I'm glad I am, because if anyone is looking for somebody to, that's wearing blue, and is going to be discussing some plans, well, at least there's a potential they could be trying to come to me. And I could overhear it. Are, are they going to announce our names as well? Or if we're there as more of servants? You are there as guests. So it's a high honor you? to be invited to such a, to such a, All right. at such a party. So we're going to be there, and then we're going to have to step outside of the ballroom and come back in so that we're announced? When it's six o'clock? You will have to speak to Kiss and Algiers about that. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. All right. They're going to announce that we are from Dufresne. They will announce your names. Mm-hmm. Makes things a little Should be fun. I will have no ability to blend in. I'm sure you will be swarmed by admirers. Thank the gods. <coughs> what we're open for well, is that these guests, there are many of them, as you have said. What we're open for is that there's so many that it's going to be difficult to remember everyone and what they're wearing. I have an accurate count of who will be who will be present. It is the list that I gave you. There shall be three household gods, nine servants, and six people in the kitchen. Is all that staff in the kitchen coming with the chef, or is that the current kitchen staff and the chef will have control of them? Uh, it will be. Some of the lord of the Lord's kitchen staff and some of his. I know that there will be making <coughs> preparations this evening. Hmm. So nine servers, six kitchen staff. 
plus the three, three, three household gods. Three household guards plus the fifteen. Does anyone know anything about poisons? Don't eat them. I know a thing or two. Okay. If you what bite it? it, it's poisonous. If what, it bites you, what, it's venomous. What are you, what are you uh, looking to be knowing? Well, so, do we know it's going to be served tonight? No. It's not going to be food. Really? You don't think so? Never gave us an opportunity to tell us what we found out. No. Sorry. Oh, no. Yeah. All right. Let's 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 talk more about what we found out before. It won't be the it won't be the food made by Ramses. Mm-hmm. At least that's the one. Your I mean I think your analogy of the situation was spot on. Well, I thought he said he spent the whole season working on the, the menu. Yeah. He's got three restaurants in here. He's just a hardworking, lower-class man who's made good for himself. Three restaurants that people are spending five crowns a, a, a meal at. Five the man is wealthy. Crowns. So Some of the most things I've ever tasted. Okay. Oh, boy, dude. So, this man has made some very fancy food. So, why isn't it going to be him? It would seem the easiest. Well, Thing is, he just didn't, he don't have enough time. He's gonna be so busy doing all, making all these meals and everything. And if you've seen him in the restaurant, he just everything, everything going in and out of that kitchen. He's got to be part of it. And, and what I'm saying is, he's he's a career man. He's he's a working man, and he's got his reputation to uphold. So if anything goes wrong, anything anyone gets poisoned, it's gonna be on him. So a- how do we know there will be one assassin? I wouldn't put it all on. Inquires. I wouldn't put it all in one basket. That's why I said yeah. you could do. Right. I never. So, I, I was never assuming there'd only be one. <laughs> so, let yeah. me understand this. He cooks everything, and all those other people are standing around for nothing. Oh, of course. Yeah. He no. Touches everything. Make I'm, sure that every What I'm is saying perfect. is, he knows just by looking at looking at what the thing is, what what he's what's been cooked. He knows whether it's good or not. Right. It's, it's, Man was walking by with a pie, and he grabbed him and threw him back in the kitchen. Oh, told him to read. He must have saw something on that pie that didn't make him happy. That was the best food, and this is coming from me, mm-hmm. that I've ever had in my life. Mm-hmm. And so, if you promised this would be the best meal that anyone in that room had had in their lives. So, knowing what you know about poison, do you believe that a man who knows everything about food? Would be able to tell by looking at it that it's poisoned. Well, you know, what, what, when he when he set the pie back, you know how shepherd's pie is. It's, it's got a top to it. So you can't see what's inside. The man knew it wasn't good. So, I, as far as I can tell, he just knows what's every ingredient is and everything. So, as far as I can see, I don't think it's gonna be him. All right. And he's gonna he's gonna be watching that food so closely. So Nothing's going to get out of that kitchen that he doesn't know about. So we can softly assume that it's not the chef. Unless, unless she's actively wanting to, to do it, yes. But if he's three restaurants in this area, mm-hmm. that's years of establishing himself. You don't think he's right away. And like, like I said, if anything goes wrong with that food... But if there was a patron above the baron or somebody... Who would come in and take over for the Baron? If any poison, if any poison goes said. through that food, it's on him. His career is ruined. No one will ever eat at his restaurants again. He's ruined. So can't, I just, I just can't. I don't think it's going to be him. All right. Maybe not him. Is he going to be watching over this cream dice? Well, you know, we talked to the. That's not his. We, we talked to the. Yeah. We, we talked to the Ice King, and he. That's all that's in his head. It's completely frozen. It's filled with cream dice. So, strawberries. So does poison die in the cold? Well, does it depends it on working? what kind of poison you're using. I, th- I think for a moment. Do you have a skill rank in, al- in alchemy? I do not have a skill rank in alchemy. But well, I do have. I do know about healing poisons. Well, no, you don't. Alchemy is used for poison. Okay. So go ahead and make an alchemy test. I'll go ahead test. and make, I'll make a challenging roll. test. 
<laughs> okay. I believe you. Yeah. It's a 34 flip to fail. <laughs> and I rolled a 66. <laughs> Critical <laughs> failure. Oh, you know, called it. Everything there is possibly to know about poison. Well, you know None a lot of things right. about poison. Poison can be passed from contact from one hand to another with a simple handshake. Sometimes it can be passed between the lips, or by the tongue, or in wine, or in water, or by a simple table napkin, or while using the water closet, or <laughs> your bunghole. Yeah. It can be passed by wearing a cape. It can be passed by a simple pen prick, perhaps from a needle in the bottom of a ring turned the other way. It can be passed up on the end of a blade. Maybe put in somebody's food days before and then take to an act at the party. But, but boss, I thought the whole reason, mm -hmm. the entire reason we were meeting with all these people was so we could start, have some idea of what each person was. Yeah. So. But if you're discounting everything we say after no. we met them. Well, <laughs> see, what have you discovered? She, uh, Rosalia inquires. Right. This, what I'm doing is I'm asking questions so I can better understand. And with everything that you're telling me, that, that I am to, I am led to believe that this is one of our least likely sub suspects. There's, there's a discussion technique that's called devil's advocate. Oh, I got it. But huh. it's getting a little old here with every 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 person is still on the table. We, if we remove nobody, then we don't have enough bodies to cover everyone. Right. And we've got to make choices. We've here. got to we got to we've find got the, the biggest risk. That's it. Yeah, and I had already moved on and I was I mean, focusing on the ice. So yeah. And so we do not believe that it is the chef. So what about this ice man? Well you saw him too. All he could talk about was ice cream. Cream ice. Right. This like, one head is frozen with with ice. Three hours of drinking. It went on and thinking. on. Just, just creamed ice. Just so all the flavors and every, all techniques and everything. I don't, I don't Same story. Mm -hmm. As you eliminate suspects, we will flip their cards over. I don't think it's Gordon, or I don't, I don't think it's Ramsey. Oliver Ramsey? Yeah, I don't think it's Oliver Ramsey. Or his brother. <laughs> or his brother. Or brother Gordon, Gordon Oliver. Gordon James. <laughs> Gordon James, yeah. <laughs> or his brother Gordon. Oh. Uh, I really hope he doesn't have a legal staff that searches things out by Google. <laughs> so certainly we do not suspect that it would be Lord Clayton R. K. himself. Right. The right. Harris inquires. And if it were, then uh, what would be the most I mean, it would be the most dramatic way to do it, wouldn't it? Plague your old party and then kill yourself on it? And they ask King Hagen. What the surgeon is that's the one. Oh, oh yeah, did yeah. you find anything about Wolfgang? How's he doing? Well, that's Sammy. Well, we're taking care of his pecker. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he's coming down with some illness and he ain't feeling too good. He's saying he's feeling the pain in his groin. Mm. So he's going to be laid up, it sounds like. He ain't going to make it to the party. But you've spoken with him. Yeah! Alright. He's about blue blue and green in the face! Okay. They gave him something for the swelling. You know what they did? They took a catheter. Well, they put fleas know, down it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go in much more. Mites! Well, don't need to know about it. If you don't know what a catheter is, don't ask. Don't you gotta to touch know. the sailor's piss. Um, ain't no thing he can't get treated, but he ain't feeling too good, so I don't think Wolfgang or Hrung Billy could be showing up. So isn't the Barrister and Wolfgang friendly? He probably doesn't like to hear this. Appeared to be. Appeared to be. Appeared. Yeah. Rosalia maintains her composure. Right, so, uh, all right. I mean, it didn't seem like Mr. Cooper, Copper. Do you think we could speak with Wolfgang? Not in that condition. You stated you didn't think it was the other artist either. So, which one did you run into? 
the bard. Uh, the bard is so full of his self that... Wolfgang is deathly loyal to the Baroness. I do not think that he nor her uncle Bigley will be... Ooh, ooh, when he killed his sister's... I didn't think husband? he bought that thing. Brought it all the way here as a gift. Just a... The collapse. It's all me agreement, then, that Wolfgang right. Coppa and her uncle Bigley are not potentials. <laughs> um, the only thing I can say about him is he was still... He was still bent out of shape after the war that happened a long time ago. Uh, uh, he no, seemed no. to be quite the nationalist. That's the, the, um, the wrong brother. Wolfgang. 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 Oh, Wolfgang. oh. Wolfgang. Yeah, so let's, let's, uh, let's rule him out. Yeah. So with Genity Carper, he seemed to be quite the nationalist. Uh, he seemed to be quite loyal to... Uh, The arcade. Um, this down here. I mean, yeah. it's possible, but if we're trying to narrow people down, I would put him on the narrowed rather than the widened. Why is that? So you think he would kill his sister's husband? No, I, I mean, if we Soldiers don't you, tend to. You would say he's more likely to use cowardly means to kill people. Yeah, that's what you're gonna, saying. Yeah, if I'm going to kill someone, it's. I'm gonna kill him. Maybe he's the same honor as you. Uh, no, he's he's full of it. So we can rule him out. Then. Honor that is. <laughs> what you're saying is we can rule him out. I mean, so to speak, everyone's a suspect and all that. Yeah, I mean, he was he was. Yeah. He was. Do you think the lady, Gabriella, removed Sir Genetic Copper from the suspect list? Do you think Lady Gabriella would target her own husband? If, yes. If he were to die, would she take over? Yes. Well, that was a, I mean, the one, bosses have technically been quite uh, political upheavals. Lady Gabriella and Lord Clayton Arcay have been fast since they were young. Oh well, I mean, if you get sick of each other, I mean, well, well, you know, you come to divorce, not murder. <laughs> not all the time. Now we see something I know from being in, in the. Uh, the, the Zufrain is that usually the spouse is pretty high up there on the suspects list. Again, it goes to where does the line of succession we'd ask this question and I don't think it was ever fully vested. They're all children. They're all children? Yes. By both. Their children, she says. Then They've been married for a long time. Then I would say you can remove the lady because her eldest son will take and who gives she may not care at that point. Or does I she mean, favor her, her eldest? The only reason why I might look at the lady is because, well, she really don't like the Baroness. Now the question is, would she kill to keep out of that business? Or just to spite the Baroness? Uh, I suppose, okay, so what do we know about her? Let's just say what we do know about her. She married to the Baron? She married to the Baron. Did we find yes. anything else about her? Friends with Joseph. Wolfgang's uh, sister. Wolfgang's yeah. sister. She She's a copper. She and hates. She hates the Baroness. And she, the more when she, drinks, she gets drunk. She's very insulting. The more she drinks, the more she insults the woman. Yeah, that's nothing. That's nothing that's gonna tell me to well, take her off. Especially if her husband has cuttings. Yeah, yeah. Especially if the husband has cuttings of the woman. Yeah. It could just be pure jealousy. But the Ice King Hagen Hassanus. Rule him out. Hogan Hasselnuss. Yeah, I don't know of anything that would down Hasselnuss? Yeah. I don't know. I, don't know. I, know. I didn't meet the man, so. What do you think? I mean, if there were poison going about it, he'd be the, the easiest way to go about it. With a newfangled food, just call it food poisoning. Bad well, batch of cream, something. Uh, but man, I don't, know whole I, about I don't think he would personally do it, but he's going to have a lot of folk there working for him. I don't know a lot about poison, but man doesn't seem like the poison you type. don't but again someone could use it as a vessel we I, I mean anyone who wants to poison anyone could basically do it so. yeah so there's another assumption we're working with we're assuming that at least one of these people on this list is the perpetrator whether or not they're delivering it they're at least orchestrating it right that's right I mean, I mean otherwise right you know yeah we want 
take all the servants and leave them out. Yeah. So, okay. Do we I believe... Mean, he, does, he doesn't even run in, in, the, in his, you know, the Baron's type of circle. He's just there for the, the ice cream. Okay. The cream guys. Again, if we can't clarify that we know where his roots are, could he be the man from the Saltpeterman? Who knows? You guys, we have such dizzying logic going on right now that I don't believe we're ever going to rule anybody else out. Uh, uh, Barrister, you've been in Durando for a while. Did you ever catch the name of the person who is the lead of uh, um, the Salt Peterman? Goodness, no. In fact, uh, the lead of the Salt Peterman is uh, known but only to the Baroness. Hmm. The previous ties to Lord Genevieve. Baron, my apologies. Do we at least know if the Saltpeter man or Saltpeter woman? I could not say, but I can assure you that the Saltpeter men are also here. Yeah, we found that out. Yeah, we did. Right, so Argon um we're thinking no. I don't see any motivation for it. I mean, we talked to him for hours. All he talked about is that cream dice. Yeah. So I actually. Did he know he were? No. You sure he didn't know you were? So Peterman would know who we were. Just saying. So, I I acquiesce. Hey, yo, yo. You started the devil's right. advocacy. So I am just playing into it again. Boy. Right. So, I acquiesce. And so, Bring unless, up the floor, the gentleman. unless we are thinking that there's a reason to keep him on here, maybe we should turn him up. I trust Warren. I trust Harper. Sure. In fact, we're both in agreement, Harper. I say we do it. I am. All right. Hagen Hasselnus has been removed from the list as you continue narrowing it down now to ten suspects. But it could be more than one. It could be. Normally, conspiracies like this. Uh, I thought we took the lady off. No. Well, I argued for her to stay. Okay, sorry. Alright, so who's Delilah? Is it an answer? We, no one met Delilah. Alright. So we keep her. Veta Cobain. Remove him, he is a, he's a stuffed shirt. He's a stuffed shirt performer who could care little about anything else besides his voice. So, besides him being some grand master planner, we have no evidence to to point it all to him. Oh, he's a sycophant, uh, not a sycophant. He's a, he has sycophants that hang on every whim that he has, and he's a performer. He's not. He couldn't so wait so. to put pen to, to, Lady to, ink, to ink to this broadsheet. <laughs> Lady Marius, what say you, Aveda Cobain? To be honest, the people that I see the most are people that we haven't talked to. I don't think Domino has done it. I also don't think that Tobias has done it. If we look at those two, they've been the ones that gave us the information about the Salt Peterman, and I do trust him on that particular piece of information. It makes the most sense. It's been corroborated. Yes. All right. So I don't think it's them. Right, so... At we, least Tobias, I don't. You want to take... That's a lot of risk for a traitor if he fails. He's this goose cut. Let's, let's well, take he's Tobias a, He's I'm, attached his uh, rising to that of the Baron, if I believe that's correct, right? Like, he is. So... I would say Tobias would be the one to take off for my sake. Any objections, Rosalia says. None. I don't know about the, the, the mean. He's got old low connections. It's fearful, but I trust your I trust your judgment. Mm -hmm. Well, to be fair, he's not the only to one that has connections may not that may not be the uh, most correct leaning. Oh. Was that pointed towards me? It's pointed towards a lot of us. Come, <laughs> come now. 
Uh, if, we, if we were to do removing. that, there might be certain ones in this room that yeah. would also be on this. That system. leaves I, nine. I think suspects. everyone should get at least one that they get to remove. It's I like agree. selecting a jury of your peers. You get to <laughs> remove them as you well. So, so back to Vedico Bank. We, I mean, I never met him, so it's up to you, lot. Sure. Burn Tony Bellagain. Uh, he was all bluff and buster in that crowd. Mm -hmm. That's what we all felt. Papa, do you agree? Sure. There we go. We move him too. I like what you said about him too. He was too quick to put his own name to the paper. Oh, he cares nothing but uh, other than his fame, right? Right. So seemed, uh, fame. He gonna live forever. Yeah. So unless for some reason he right. wants the infamy of being the one that did it, he's got way too much to do. And then R.H. Block is a money man, right? He's a tax man. A lot of assassinations are done for money. Well, well you don't need it. For taxes? We didn't get much information from him Definitely. about him, so I, I don't see how we can rule him out. Okay. This well, is... well, perhaps we should talk about those we know. Yeah. So... Then talk about those we don't. Right. Well, so R.H. Block stays on Monty Warhol. I didn't run nobody, into him. A... Nobody got to meet him. He is a Pharisee, or one said Pharisee, <laughs> one said um, Wallstein. So what they, 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 he's foreign. Those we have to, not met. Josephine has been met. Has been met, but we haven't we haven't seen her. She was a cleaner own from what. That's right. Said. Jonathan shakes his hands. He's very kinetic and excited. I don't think her. She's an Alorinite. Alorinite. Which is don't. exactly why we should suspect. Alorinites don't deal in. Whoa, 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 guys. Everyone has gotten their one pick. Uh, uh, in in Alorinites, the ones that they're not supposed to get involved. Well, Alorinites kill with kindness, not with poison. Well, We're jumping got, off edges. He's got you there. Everyone gets to remove one. That is That has been the path. Uh. I would say a clear on sycophant wouldn't necessarily be the one to be behind this either. I, I mean, wouldn't he, trust. He knows her from way back. You know, from way back in the day, from what you said. Right? Yes, forming school. We were uh, at university together here in uh, Kelterian. <laughs> if we're going to invite this man as a party member, he needs to have the same authority as all of us. Uh, I mean, you can eliminate him. I just don't believe it. <laughs> her. Whoever. All right. So if they're an Alorinite. What? They're always. A what's your evidence to keep her on the list? <laughs> Fact that she's an Alorinite. She's an Alorinite. Listen, they're all about their secrets and their conspiracies, and all about doing shady things. You can't trust them as far as you can throw. Them. Unless I mean, yeah, you just can't. I mean, but it's, it's, it's personal preference. If you want to eliminate them, that's fine. Me. I'm just voting no. Doesn't Master, 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 Master Hexen. But they ain't assassins, it, are your, they? Yes. Your yeah. beloved... It's exactly, and he trapped us. Your bigotry well, aside, you. your bigotry aside, I think I think we need to trust the man who knows her. Sure. Alexi Casimir's an Alorinite. He runs the whole damn Dufresne. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's remove Josephine. But you get one corruption. For that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. can't trust the Lord. Well, that brings us down to seven suspects: Lady Gabriella Arquet, Dirge the Younger, Donna Satine, Kinison Algiers, Delilah, Arnie Warhol, and R. H. Bach. All right, so Kinison, I don't think. The the only reason I'm keeping Donna Satine is because. Well, she was awfully friendly to me, and I'm all, I'm awful suspect of anyone that would be trying to be that way, but she's probably trying to be friendly to me for other reasons. You're a strong man, as Alia says. She's ambitious, but I don't think she's I'm missing that an way. eye. And? So your depth perception is lacking. So Are you saying something that. else is? I'm just not as pretty as I used to be, but better. Uh, Obviously, your mistake. <laughs> well, maybe beauty is in the eye of the beholder. All right. Uh, what do you think? All right. Let's, we've got it's, seven. It's the missing eye that you got. <laughs> seven, <laughs> seven suspects. Uh, is, 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 <clears throat> okay, so. Chick stick scars, from what I've been told. I think if she has ulterior motives for being friendly to me, it's not, it's not to set me up. I, d I don't think so. 
But she has been the only one that we've gotten the closest to. Well, her, her dad's straw, right? Yes. I think this is trying to get in good with upper crust people. I think and so. And also, maybe she thinks so. I don't know. I think she's brown nosing and she might happen to have a thing for men with one eye. From what you're saying, they, they, those two seem to be pretty close, Stro and uh, Dominus Tatini. If Bobby she was up to no good, then he, he might know about it. He didn't seem to let on. But is his daughter. This is daughter, yes. All right, let's remove her. Oh. What? If nothing else, wait, I'm, I'm <laughs> near her. Okay, wait. She won't let me out of her sight. What, what's, she, what's your evidence? Your the velvet contract? throne. Your low connection. That is... Okay, what's this velvet throne? It's a criminal organization of some sort that she has some influence with. Uh, Coming from the mixed background that I've had, mm -hmm. criminal organizations thrive on... Let's just put it this way. You owe me or you die type okay. methods. All right, so... We've already ruled Ostro or Danny. Okay, so what I've, what, I've, what I've known, and it's not from first-hand experience, but what I've heard about is that with criminal organizations, they have a particular niche, niche, I don't know how you pronounce that word, but niche, niche uh, you know, some of them get into black market goods. Others get into smuggling people about, you know, that sort of thing. So... Do you happen to know what their area of business is? No. I don't, I don't know anything about this organization. I don't know anything other than the two I mystical people who run Loke. I don't know anything about Loke. Wait, I, I can state, though, almost irrevocably, that criminal organizations mm. tend to uh, thrive in chaos. Mm. Yes? yes? A well oiled political system is not one that does well with criminals. Actually, unless the criminals are in the political system. This one doesn't seem to be of that nature. Therefore, if she was to be of some use towards this velvet throne and she's actually someone that's trying to push for it, since it doesn't seem to be the uh, a possible criminal system inside of the political, I would assume that the chaos of Changing regimes would actually be good. Well, actually, like, from what I know, like, who well, among you actually traffic with criminals? Has or does currently? Have. I must state that the majority of people who have that background are not likely to say anything. Not I. Uh, organized <clears throat> crime. Well, so. Most of what I know is that... It's a yes or no question. I'm a there, yes. There, there needs, there needs, Does that help you, boss? And would you say that um, it does better with organization for organized crime to work, or with chaos for organized crime? She was asking who here has... Yes. I feel that if there is yes. some... Yes. There's a yes here and a yes here, which we all already knew. If there is all some right. fashion in which you clearly have a deeper understanding than any of us around this table here in the Madeline, perhaps you should make a call to leave her on or leave her off the list, believing her to be a member of the, of the Velvet Throne. Okay. Organized crime buys off the, the cops. Right. This right. is not a question for you, oh, sorry. Master Forrester. Don't. You are not a criminal. A murderer, perhaps, yes, but it does not make you an organized criminal. I think that it is clear, as <clears throat> Bettinger has stated, that he has a much deeper understanding. My only fear is the intimidation that comes with that. You are never truly out. So does she stay on the list or not? I'll defer to you. I, 
I've only consistently said, said, trust the people I have not interviewed her. And if we are going to be of a like mind, we've stuck with the thing that we've all stuck with. Whoever has interviewed her gets the choice. That falls to you two, not me. I would say, my vote, like his vote with the Allure Knight, but mine is not based in bigotry, it's based in <laughs> my experiences. Well, how do you square up with the fact that that she Stro could and her be, are the related and it, it doesn't have, make sense if I he's got the connections in the old order she does too him, I wouldn't have taken him off either so you want to throw back on the table never take a criminal off a conspiracy <laughs> <laughs> well if we continue like this we shall it shall be tomorrow morning I we am, shall put them all back that's that's not what I'm saying here just saying you asked me my opinion did you not so if that is my opinion, never take it. There's a cons conspiracy. Never take the criminals out of the conspiracy. Is the father a member of the Velvet Throne? No. Not that he stayed. Is she a member of the Velvet Throne? Throne? <clears throat> She's in some way associated with them. And if she is part of organized crime, she cannot be removed from the list. Then okay. she stays. Then we'll move on. Uh, Kennison, I do believe, can be taken off. This is his entire... Party. This is his entire reputation. If this thing was to fall apart, there goes his entire world. But does he have ties to the lady, or does he have ties to the... He's the quartermaster for Layton. That doesn't matter. Did he come from the lady's side? How was he hired? He was of the sack of because Hag Hastings. I know how houses work of the genteel. He's been working with them doesn't since, matter. since the war. Who hired him? Come, if we're still putting he's the lady on He's a man of the Genevieve. He's a man of the Genevieve. Yes. He's a that peacemaker makes... for the Dupre yeah. and for Malastas. Okay, well then we can't take him off if he's a man of the Genevieve. So, oh, well, right. then... uh, there's the younger. Wasn't he? He's the man at arms for Dupre. Yeah. Uh, for the Dupre. Dupre? Or Dupre? Or Baron Dupre. Baron. He is the man at all. So, he probably, if we're going off of this, you know, you serve that family forever. It makes sense that he's trustworthy. Yeah. Stuff moves Dupre. Unless, unless, he's, the unless he's in love with the lady. Those three. <laughs> we haven't met with him, we can't make educated decisions on him. I do have to. But as I got leaves. Yeah. Performer, artist, and tax man. Yeah. I don't think they have any sort of motive, means, or power. Oh, they got means. We can't l eliminate them or not eliminate them. We don't know nothing. Well, that leaves six on the table, and there's six of us. I would say eliminate those three, and we have three suspects. Why would we eliminate those three? I mean, unless you plan on running out really early in the morning, figuring out where these people are and what they do. Again, what, I think those three have the most means, the most motive. And most to lose. Agreed. I'm not a courtier or a Lord Fancy Pants of this and that, but I know if I have a lot to lose, I'm not going to gamble it, especially if it took me a lifetime to build. I'm That's also, just me, though. I'm also of the belief that uh, if it was to be one of the three that you've put at the top, why wouldn't they be working with some of the three at the bottom? Well, they're going to be working with somebody. That's a lot of what ifs. Too many what ifs again. It is, but there's six of us, so, and there's six people yeah. that we have not narrowed down. Do we need to narrow down the three? I don't think so. I mean, if you want to keep an eye on all six, that's fine. Seems to me the best way to do yeah. it. Is there a number we're trying to achieve? I mean, three is a great number. Is three is a great number. Okay, what do we know about R. H. Blow? Nothing. Oh, no. Nothing. He's the, the tax, tax man, man for the the Baron. Right. So we can't make. If he's any... a Baron's man. Tax man, artist, dancer. You know, I have now named all the information we have on the last three that you're talking about taking out. Right. So we're only taking them off simply because of their profession. Uh, the people that need the others because of that too. No, we have other information because we met with them. Yeah, I mean. Like Durs the Younger, we know he's a man at arms, but we know who he was a man at arms for. And we've all across that bridge. Yeah, exactly. So 
We don't know nothing. Well, then make your call, Captain. I say keep the last six. We sure. We of those. It'll be less time to focus on what's going on in the party if we are to split ourselves. All right. I'm not saying it's wrong. Yeah. I am simply stating an obvious fact. Okay, so I each block. He's the tax man for RK. He's the tax man for the city. For the city. And if things are in chaos, taxes don't get collected, right? It's harder. I do so. I would think. Yep. Sounds like it. All right. And if we, since we want three, let's just do it. Okay. Armani will hold. I don't want three. Who wants three? He wants three. I want three. All right. I am going to excuse myself. These last ones you can get on your own. All right. Sorry, guys. I gotta go. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. See ya. So Armani Wall, what do we know about him? He's an artist. He wears an a, he wears a wig in blue. Wait, so we know at least that much. <laughs> mm-hmm. So he wears blue. Well, then he's gotta stay. Sure. What? All right. I mean, that right there is bloody more of a clue than any of these people. Sure. Okay, Delilah, what do we know about her? She's a dancer. That's it. That's all we know is she's a dancer. That is all Anything else to add there, uh, any of the folks in the crowd? Yeah, actually, Dominus Satine's going to be wearing blue, so she needs to stay. That's right. If we're going to be narrowing down, if any of them... If you want to get rid of the lady, two. go ahead and get rid of the lady. The lady and, and, and Ken, Kennison. The lady absolutely hates the Baroness. I would say she's not the best one to get rid of. Kennison. However, I once again go to Kennison as a quartermaster, who is planning this entire thing. Everyone knows that it's on his shoulders, and if something bad was to happen, there goes his entire reputation. Okay. Well, if I walked, you're... sorry, Mark, Dominus team in Armani Warhol with the blue that they are going to wear at the party. I mean, he's a you Jenny, know. so just saying that. Well, he's a Jenny. If he's a Jenny, he's probably going to be wearing blue, right? That's what they wear. I mean, we can keep a better eye once everyone gets announced. We'll see their faces what they're wearing. Anyone who's not wearing blue, we just immediately rule out. Anything blue. Sure. But they could put on the mask later and be wearing blue. They could step to a side parlor and put a scarf on the tent with blue. And then, and then if we were using useless information, it's going to be anyone, they're going to die no matter what. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm hesitant to take someone off the list that we know absolutely nothing about, one way or the other. Correct. We know nothing of Royal. Not well, dancer. There you go. You have your one word. Well, there's been many a uh, person that has died because they went into a private room with for a private show. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with three plus two addition. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I suppose you have not just work. Who do you want to get rid of? Uh, the dancer. We got rid of a musician just because they were a cocky musician. Well, yeah, but you, someone met him. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I look a person in the eye and go, Hey, are you going to murder the Baron? And just no. Okay. Well, Can let's, you? Let's get rid of the dancer. Lila has been removed, so these lady at... Gabriella R.K. and Kinnison Algiers. Three plus one initial. I think you'd be happy right. that. So Kennison, he's a Jenny. He's a quartermaster. And who's he a quartermaster for? This city, right? He's a quartermaster for the Baron. As far as I had information. Wait. The Baron himself. And he's a Jenny? How do we know he's a Jenny? Information I was given. 
Yeah, I have him listed as a peacemaker for the Alistairs and the Ducray. Uh, he was at the Sack of Hastings and he's a journeyman. That's what I have. Sounds like no one has anything else to add on, so we just keep them. Alright. So then. So it leaves Lady Gabriella, Kinsinus Algia, Kinsinus and Algiers, Donna Satine, who was wearing blue, and Armani Warhol, who was wearing blue. Four suspects. Yeah. An unlucky number for an unlucky prospect. Three plus one additional, as I said. Well, I am certain that the Dufresne will be capable to uncover who the assassin may be. I will be on my watch as well, without a doubt. I have my orders. I am to ensure that the Baron signs the papers. We have our itinerary. Perhaps, if you wouldn't mind, uh, Lady Elisa, can we go back through it? Yeah. It's at 4 p.m. we arrive. Yes. 5.30 the band will arrive. 6 p.m. the guests will be introduced. 6 to 7 is masks on. 10 is the end. Yes. At 7 p.m. the... The Baron will stand up and he will give a toast with no mask on. Once again, alerting exactly where he is. So, it would seem to me that most likely if someone wants to strike it would be between 7 and 10. Which is precisely the time you've stated that he will be signing. Sometime during. Right. When Given will the uh, everything works. gift be presented? I am the one who will be presenting it to Brad. The, oh, I should say Jonathan Vander. I try right. to introduce him to the to the to the Lord, mm-hmm. and then he will he will give the gift. All right. Is All right. that sometime after seven then? So, is is a bit of a plan. We need to see who's going to be watching who. Now. I'm thinking I'll be able to be around Dominus a team, and then if I find out otherwise, then I can come and rely on um, uh, Elisa in order to be around her. Right? Pause. Okay. I have a feeling that considering my name, she will not drop my company. Yeah. Now, but that's, that like, could also be true of the Lady Arcade. Okay. Mm-hmm. There's. Shades There's three other people. So, Armani Warhol. Who wants to be the one to watch Armani Warhol? Perhaps we can discuss that while the night grows late. Mm. Yes, it does. That's fine by me. We have until 4 p.m. tomorrow. Alrighty. And with that, we will end episode 46 of Queen of Embers. Thank you all so much for coming. 100 reward points. Yeah. Everybody. And corruption roll. Corruption roll. Or I got some corruption. Corruption. Or what do we call this? Wheel, Wheel of, of uh, corruption. corruption. Okay, here we go. Who's got corruption, by the way? I got four. How many did you nope. get? One, okay. Wheel of Corruption I says have value is five. I believe he had three as well because of the coffee. That's right. Coffee. 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 So, I think everybody's right. good. We will see you all next week. Thank you for patronage. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. And we will see you all soon on Twitch. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Bye. See ya.